I know how we ate food over 3,000 shillings for only 1350. Please stick to the end of this video and you'll find out exactly how we did that. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Maggie and welcome to Reaction Diary. So today I will be doing a new, it's not a new series necessarily, um, but this whole thing is new. Anyway, but I'll be doing, yeah, I'm doing a new series on giving you guys deals on places you didn't know have deals. Okay. So before we dive in in anything else, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the food we ate and what I thought about it. So let's go. For my starter, I had the veg pal bali soup. It had a really new taste. A very acquired new taste. <laughs> I did not like it at all. That's why my face looks like that. I ended up trying the crisp, but I only liked it just because it was crunchy. But so I tried another thing. I tried adding some salt to it. There was no difference. Plus this whole shaker just decided it's not gonna work. So I ended up giving up on the soup and just waited for the rest of the meals because it was a no. It was a no for me. <laughs> the other starter we had was the chicken and avocado salad, and I really loved this starter. It was so good. The egg, the leaves, the dressing, the chicken in general, all of them just blended it so well with each other. It was so phenomenal and I really liked it. I gave it a couple of more tries and it just did not let me down. It was so yummy and would really recommend this if you want to try it. So for my main meal, I had the classic margarita pizza and I really enjoyed it. It's a very simple pizza so there wasn't much from it but it was still nice. The crust was really thin and there was lots of cheese on it. I really liked it and I definitely did not regret my choice in the main meal section. I, I This was a win for me. <laughs> I also tried tasting the basil on the pizza just to see whether it would enhance the taste of the pizza and guys that face <laughs> it was an immediate no moment for me I did not like it at all it was too much no nope. so we are going to have a little chit chat on the service in Bambino. This was just a small clip of what I have to say about it. So the next starter was the potato nocci. I will just assume that's how it's pronounced. It is a Latin Italian dish just like all the rest. It had such an acquired new taste. I did not hate it, it was okay, but it left a weird aftertaste, so I did not enjoy it that much, but I I would recommend it if you want to try something new. It was not bad, honestly. And a little drum roll for the best meal we had, which was the dessert, which was the tiramisu. It is an Italian coffee flavored dessert. It was my first time ever trying it and I absolutely loved it. All the ingredients complemented each other super well. It had white chocolate on top. I'm not a big fan of white chocolate, but I still enjoyed it. By this time, we were super full, but it was so worth it, especially since we paid only 1350 for each main meal we had we had two main meals so our total was 2700 excluding the drinks we had if it was normal hours we'd have paid 7050 instead of 2700 that we paid and that is how you save your coins we've gotten to the end of this video asante sana and Penda. so now i'm about to tell you how you can also get to enjoy the same so bambino has a business lunch every business day that is monday to friday from 12 to 3 p.m yes where they serve you a three course meal that is a starter a main meal and a dessert 
latin italian foods which is pretty good because that's what the restaurant is it is a latin italian restaurant and you get to enjoy like a full three course meal that would have costed you over three thousand shillings you just go to their instagram profile and they have a link on the bio for you to make a reservation so during okay when i was making the reservation i mentioned that i am going for business lunch i however don't think it's compulsory but i was like i'm not taking any so i just did it nevertheless and once i went there I just asked for the business lunch menu. Also important to note that they do not offer any drinks to their business lunch menu. You have to get the drinks separately. Yes. Yeah. So in general, I'd give this restaurant a three star and I will tell you exactly why. I'm gonna give the food a four. I would say it was really nice. There was nothing I had to complain of. People would rate it differently. And plus I've never eaten Italian food before. So I don't think I would, if I think, I think if I had experience on eating Italian food before, I'd know whether this was good or bad, but in general, I'd give it a four. The food was okay. I think the food was okay. Yeah, I'd definitely go back, especially still in this business lunch menu to try out the other foods that we didn't for the service. But mainly when I scan it, come on. At some point, they're watching us because we look like we can just run away from the restaurant without paying. I don't know. That's what I. That's the vibe I got. I really did not like it. I feel like they still have more to do. I feel like okay, fine. I get it. The restaurant was a bit empty. It was a Tuesday afternoon. There were hardly any people. But I don't think there's that's a reason for you as a group actually to stand ahead of us a bit. A bit distance up on Bele, the the entire time. It made me uncomfortable. I did not like it at all. So for the service, they get a one out of five. They get a one because at least they were quick. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want such content, please be sure to subscribe because more will be coming your way. Thank you so much. Observation. Ah. Santi sana kama umefika mwisho. Kwani ni news? I was doing so good. Soon as I edit. No! You lost my trail of words. The business lunch at Pambino runs every it's why am I talking like I'm reading news. I'm not reading dessert. So, that footage, Nishuku.